this one's gonna be short and sweet. Well, maybe just sweet. Hey everybody, Rick and Nikki here, back at Universal Studios Florida. And you know what? When you're on vacation, calories just don't count. And with that in mind, let's head inside and check out all the sweet shops. And right at the entrance exit point, right past the turnstiles, as soon as you get in the studios, we have Studio Suites. Now this one is in prime location. I think it's more for like when you exit the park, like when you're done with the day, grab something sweet for the hotel room. Yeah. So let's go inside and check it out. First, let me point out this wall of self-serving candy. It's bulk candy and it's $3.95 per quarter pound or $7.90 per half pound. Lots of gummies and chocolate items here on this wall. On this wall, there is a pick a side and pick a tube. On the crunchy candy side, you have a large tube for $6.95 or a regular for $4.95. And on the powdered side, you have jumbo for $6.95, a large for $5.95, and a medium for $4.95. So here's your instructions. You pick a side, you pick the size of tube for either crunchy candy or powdered candy, and then you fill your tube with as many flavor selections as you like. And behind glass, an assortment. A large assortment of fudge. Prices start at $4.95 for the fudge, but they also have specials sometimes. For example, right now, buy four pieces and get two free. And behind this glass, we have whoopie pies, s'mores, candy apples, pecan patties, one of my favorites, macarons, cookies, caramel apples, Nikki's favorite caramel apple is right over here, the Rocky Road. The Minion stuff is really cute and I like this popcorn style candy apple. Prices for these cases are going to run between $4.50 and $12 depending on what you get. And this third area behind glass has cookies and cupcakes and dig in a jar and Rice Krispie Treats, and Marshmallow Pops. All very, let me get out of the glare there, but some of it themed to the Minions, some of it themed down there. That cupcake is Cat in the Hat, Brookies, and Cookies, and Fudge, and Brownies. Studio Sweets bagged candy, two for $10 different types of gummies and things like that. Here is some branded. Saltwater taffy, yep. Fan of E.T., you need some Reese's peanut butter cups. And on this wall, cotton candy in a container. The small bags over here are three for $12. I got some Whoppers, some caramels, some gummies, some trail mix and things like that. But I think the big appeal to this sweet shop is kind of the baked goods they keep behind the glass there. I guess before we leave, I should mention the frozen treats. Ice cream, $4.69. Ice cream sandwiches, Butterfingers, drumsticks, Nestle dips. Cool, refreshing ice cream treats. Wait, I can't leave this sweet shop yet. Pink donuts for $9. They're not just in Springfield. All right, we're done with that one. Let's move on down the road and show you another sweet shop. Sweet. I guess we should define, what are we talking about when we talk about sweet shops? Just those shops that are dedicated solely to sweets, not the candy bars and little grab bags that you can find in the retail places, but those shops dedicated totally to the sweets. Things that are more like baked or prepared special. For example, we're not going to include E.T.'s toy closet. While they do sell like packaged candy, they won't sell like freshly prepared cookies or uh, brownies and things like that. So that's not gonna be on the list. Next up, the San Francisco Candy Factory, located in the San Francisco section of the park. So just like Studio Suites at the front of the park, you will have this wall of candy, self-serve candy, that you can buy in bulk. The same pricing, $3.95 per quarter pound and $7.90 per half pound. Behind glass, we have their selection of fudge. This other section has their selection of the candy apples and caramel apples. And then the last section is going to have the whoopee 
cookies, the regular cookies, the brookies, the pecan patties, the brownies, the s'mores. They also have the tube candy here, just in a different type of dispenser. And shocking, they have the pink donut too. There's also a freezer for novelty ice cream. What do you like about this one, Nikki? The thing I like about this one is that it's the candy is sectioned off to the different IPs. So you have Shrek, and you've got Trolls, and Minions, and Simpsons, the Simpsons, and E.T. E. Yeah, and so, Shrek. Did you say Shrek? Yes, Not I'm saying it again. It was. It's just super cute the way they have like each one kind of candy themed yeah. to the IP. It's Get awesome. Candy and merch. That's right. It all matches. Perfect. So that sweet shop, very similar to the first one we saw today, but the next one's gonna be way different. Super magical. Ooh, is that a clue? We will do. And now let's step into Diagon Alley for Wizarding World sweet treats. Where are we at, Nikki? Sugar Plums Sweet Shop. Let's see if she got that right. Why? Yes, she did. The first thing and the main thing I want to show you in here is behind the glass. There's pumpkin pasties. There's fudge, especially butterbeer fudge. There are gourmet apples. There's the witch hat cupcakes. There's the caramels. There's pumpkin cake. Caramel apple with nuts. No melt ice cream. The cauldron cake is very popular, as is the chocolate dipped pretzel wands. And I almost forgot about the ginger nude cookie, which pairs excellently to the hot butterbeer. And then of course they have tons and tons of Harry Potter candy in boxes and bags, such as the Every Flavor Beans, the Chocolate Frogs, which are milk chocolate, or you can now get that in dark chocolate, the Sugar Plums Sweet Shop Taffy, Fizzy Whisbies, Fudge Flies, Peppermint Toads, Caramel Cobwebs, White Chocolate Skulls. They also have bulk candy in here for sale, one half pound is $8.50 and a quarter pound is $4.25 for the Harry Potter bulk candy. And don't leave here without some liquid luck. But we are not crazy about the jelly slugs. Some of our favorites in sugar plums include the caramels. Oh for sure. And um, the ginger new cookie paired with the hot butterbeer. Mm -hmm. Delicious. The cauldron cake. Yes. And then also like that chocolate skeleton. That was a recommendation from a subscriber. A long time subscriber. And I love it. Um, and the other thing that we do a lot for New Year's Eve is we have a little thing of that liquid luck. Um, for good luck for the year. Maybe so, New Year's we have to have our liquid luck. Yeah. yeah. Get some for yourself. A sugar plums. Don't leave without it. Several times during the year, Universal will construct a tribute store. And within the tribute store, they always have specialty sweet treats. Let's go see what they have in this one. Since this tribute store is dedicated to some classic movies, the sweet treats reflect that. We have Jaws, E.T., Back to the Future, even a little Jurassic Park in there. They have such things as the Out of Time Brownie, the Jumbo E.T. Moon Macaron, E.T. in a Basket Cake Dessert, Whoopie Pies, Chocolate Shots, Trifle Cakes, Dig in a Jar, Candy Apples, Fishbowl Cake. Prices for these sweet treats and snacks will range from $4.50 all the way up to $16. And of course, what's a sweet shop without fudge? And that fudge tastes just like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. I'm folded. All the fudge is made in-house, so it's totally fresh. And if you wrap it up really carefully, stick it in that freezer, it can last up to two months. Wow. But that fudge looks delicious to me. If it's like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, and then it's got the Reese's Pieces on top, oh! I might have to get that today and try it. That looked very good. It's now, a lot of stuff they have in there kind of repeats. They just change the theming on it. Yeah. So whether it's Mardi Gras or Halloween Horror Nights or like the Christmas Tribute Store, a lot of stuff I showed you today will be available on those as well. I thought this video was going to be short because I thought I was only going to do studios. But what the heck, let's do the same thing at Islands of Adventure. So this video will no longer be short. But it'll still be sweet. As soon as you walk into Islands of Adventure, on your right in the port of entry is the Island Market and Export Candy Shop. 
Again, as we've already seen at Studios, they have the candy in a tube, a glass case full of candy apples, caramel apples, whoopie pies, jar cakes, pecan patties, cookies and cream pretzels, cupcakes, and then the other case has cookies and brookies and brownies and s'mores and marshmallow pops. The nice thing about this place is this is where they make the fudge. So any piece of fudge other than the Harry Potter butterbeer fudge is made right here at Islands of Adventure, right where you're looking at. Look at that bucket of fudge. So there's it being prepped and made. And over here, here it is behind the glass. The fudge case. Butter pecan, chocolate orange peanut butter, salted caramel, orange cream, tons and tons of different fudge flavors. Again, they have a couple of walls for the bulk candy, the self-service bulk candy, same pricing. Here is the second wall of self-service candy, cotton candy, and lollipops. Just like the other stores, bag candy and ice cream. How about that fudge factory, Nikki? Uh, that is the best part of that shop is the uniqueness of it being made for the entire park. Made right there. And it smells so wonderful in there. It's probably my favorite one so far of all of them. It's fun seeing the big tub of fudge. Just swirling around. I want to dive into that. I know, it's so great. The only fudge, like I said, not made there is the butterbeer fudge. Next stop, Seuss Landing. Specifically, Snookers and Snookers Sweet Candy Cookers. And Nikki already has some opinions about this place. Their baked goods are the cutest out of everything. They have the cutest ones. Those Dr. Seuss like little books and uh, it's just adorable. I can't wait to go in there and show you guys. Let's go take a look. Here's a couple good examples right now. The Grinch Apple for $12. Thing one and thing two apples, also $12. For $6, the cupcakes with the books on top. You have a cookies and cream version, a double chocolate version, and then you have the cat in the hat chocolate cupcake with that big old hat. And thing one, thing two cupcakes. And just like the other sweet shops we've seen, a case for cookies and brookies, and a case for fudge. We saw fudge being made earlier, didn't we? A case for candy apples, caramel apples, S'mores, pretzels, and one for Rice Krispie Treats, brownies, cupcakes, and whoopie pies. The ever so familiar wall of self-serve bulk candy. So this is set up like the other stores we've seen, the other sweet shops, just um, a cuter design maybe. You got your bag candy, your candy bars, your lollipops, your taffy, your regular like M&Ms and Hershey bars and you know what? They even have some salty stuff. If you had too much sweets, grab yourself some trail mix. How about some more Harry Potter sweet treats? And this time, Honeydukes. So as we look around Honeydukes, pretty much everything that they had over in Sugar Plums is here as well. Maybe a few things that are in boxes or packages. They're just rebranded in packaging that says Honeydukes versus Sugar Plums. But like all the fudge and the apples and the little like cakes and everything. The same as Sugar Plums. It's just over here at Honey Dukes as well. So that was a short and sweet review of Honey Dukes. It really was. All that Harry Potter, Wizarding World treats, pretty much the same. Yeah, no, I really like them. I mean, I, it's funny how I said the other store was like my favorite because of, well, really because of the smell. This one, I love the ambiance. It's just, it's always crowded. I will say, I think Honey Dukes is cuter. It is. Like the decor. Yeah, that's true. That is a good point. It is. Um, and it, but I like the ambiance. I really yeah. do. I like the decor. I really like the color scheming and everything of this one for sure. But um, it's always so crowded. Good stuff. Good sweet stuff. Well, that was one sweet video. I gained five pounds just looking at it. I got a cavity. And you grew. You got five inches taller. I did. Who knew? How'd that happen? I stepped on a snare. Cheater. I love it. Uh, but that's going to do it for today's sweet video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick Flicks. And now, click that subscribe button. His name is Rick.
Subscribe.